everybody. Today I'm going to share with you how to use the group and ungroup function on your Silhouette Studio software. I am working on a simple project that I think is easy for a beginner and from experience once I learned how to use the group and ungroup function on my software I was able to sort of really get creative and pull bits and pieces from various files that I liked into creating a whole new file for t-shirts or home decor, gifts, whatever. So today, the first thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to go into uh, my library here. And I'm going to pull up my Be Joyful file that I already have. I'm using this because um, I love it and I think it's great for, for spring. Let me um, fill this for you so you kind of get an idea of, so you can actually see it. Okay. So I am going to be using the Style Tech Craft Polished Metal for this part of my cut. And it's more of a shiny sort of silver color, but for now I'm just going to keep it with the gray. So I have this and, you know, I can, I can size this. This is all one file. I can size it. I can move it around my screen as one, one thing. And this, I want to keep this way because the fonts are perfect. The spacing is what I want it to be. So I'm not going to, to mess with this here too much, but I feel like I want to add a little something extra to it for my um, vase that I'm using to decorate for, for spring. I'm gonna put some flowers in it and I wanna spruce it up a little bit. So from here, I've opened my file, got my text here. I'm gonna go back to my library and I want to add some something springish. So I think I'm going to go with these floral leaves. So again, I'm gonna double click that and open it. And oh, there it is. Okay, on my Be Joyful, that's not where I want it to be. That's not the size I want it to be, nothing. But it is open, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click, I'm going to select that and I'm going to move it off my design screen just a little bit so I can work with it over here. So. My end goal is to get this vertically uh, to sort of frame the sides of my text here. So first what I need to do is I need to select this and I need to ungroup it. So to do that, I'm going to right click it. I'm gonna scroll down and choose ungroup. And this is going to separate these two pieces into their own. If you can see here, there's another box here that surrounds each of these. So now I can click off of this can click this one and I can move it around. I can size it however I want, whatever, what I want to do with it. And this one doesn't change at all unless I make it. So what I want to do here is I want to take this object and I want to get it to be vertical. So I'm going to go here to our object and I'm going to choose rotate. And if I choose rotate by 90 clockwise, it turns it up on its side for me. And I can kind of start to put over here again idea of where I want it to go for my project. Now, I could take this here and resize it and put it on the other side, but there's a much easier way to do that. So I'm just going to delete this and get it off my screen. So I'm going to work with this one here. I'm going to size it to um, what I think would be, be good for my file here. And again, this is right next to that Be Joyful, but if I click on this, I can still move it all out of the way because um, that's grouped together. So I'm going to make this a tiny bit smaller, pull it down a little, and then work on sizing this to get to how I want it to be. So I'm going to kind of sort of position it, get an idea of how I want it to look on my um, end result here. So I'm going to get this, the same thing, over here. So to do that, I'm going to select this again and I'm going to copy and paste it. So now I have two of those. If I put this over here, it's facing the wrong way. So now what I can do is I can click on that, I can choose object again, and I can mirror this and I can just flip it. So see here. I should be able just to flip this. 
there it goes. Okay, so that was me object mirror flip horizontally. So watch that again. If I choose that again, it's going to turn it back to facing the right way. Mirror flip horizontally. Now it's facing the way I want to the left, the way I want it to look. So here's my kind of idea I have going here. I kind of want to get this all spaced out the way I want it to be. Um, so when I go to cut it, it's looking good. So if you look at this, all three of these, this laurel leaf here, this here, and my be joyful are all separate from each other. To get them all together, I'm going to select them all. So just highlight, right click and highlight all of them. And then I'm going to um, sort of right click on that and choose group. Now they are all together. See that I can move them all over my screen, all together however I want. I can select all of them. I can size them as one big group to fit my space. I can make them smaller, whatever I want to do. Now, when it's time to cut your file, you need to have these ungrouped. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup those again. Because when it's time to make my cuts, I want to be able to move these off the screen. Whatever is on this white design screen here is what your machine is going to cut. So I want to cut my laurel leaves first because they're perfectly lined up exactly how I want them to be apart from each other and everything. So to cut those, um, I will just go up here to send and follow the steps to, to cut. Um, when I have cut those, then I'm going to, let me group these guys back. And after I've cut them, I'm going to move them off my screen. Put this on here and cut this. So you want to cut these in two different cuts. If you send it through your machine like this, all on, this, all on the design screen together, let's say you put in your piece of silver um, polished metal vinyl, and this is on your on your design screen, you hit send to your machine, it's gonna cut all of this in one color. It's not gonna separate. So if you have things with different colors, you gotta cut them in individual colors, basically. So after I'm done cutting this, I'll move it off my screen, stick in my green vinyl and cut these or vice versa, whatever works best for you. So that's how you use the group and ungroup and